Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the weird, wonderful, and sometimes downright bizarre science behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, AntCas06. Thanks for the suggestion. You asked, how do ants track food? If you've ever left a single crumb on the floor and come back to find an entire ant parade marching through your kitchen, you've probably wondered, how did they find that so quickly? Do they have microscopic spy drones? Tiny food radars? Are they just that good at networking? Well, today we're cracking open the incredible and slightly terrifying science of ant food tracking. From chemical GPS systems to teamwork that puts humans to shame, we're uncovering the secret world of these tiny snack bandits. Right here on Explaining Everything. Ants might seem like simple little creatures, but they're basically nature's version of a high-functioning, hyper-organized search and rescue team. Except instead of saving lives, they're saving every last crumb you forgot to wipe off your table. The way they track food is so efficient that if humans had the same skills, we'd never waste time deciding where to eat ever again. First, let's talk about their sense of smell. Because it's not just good, it's borderline supernatural. While humans rely mostly on their noses, ants actually smell with their antennae and their feet. That's right, they can literally sniff out food by walking over a surface. Imagine if every time you took a step, you could smell everything around you. It sounds cool at first, but let's be honest. One trip to a public restroom and you'd regret having that power instantly. This insanely powerful sense of smell helps ants detect tiny traces of food from surprising distances. But it's not enough to just find food. They need a way to tell their friends about it. And this is where things get really interesting. Ants communicate using pheromones, which are chemical signals they leave behind like invisible text messages for their colony. When a scout ant stumbles upon something tasty, like the chip you swore you'd pick up but never did, it doesn't just grab a bite and enjoy it alone. No, ants are team players. The scout immediately heads back to the colony while laying down a trail of pheromones, like leaving breadcrumbs for its friends. Except instead of breadcrumbs, it's an invisible chemical that says, Hey guys, I found something amazing. Follow me. Other ants pick up on this scent and start following the trail, reinforcing it with their own pheromones as they go. The stronger the scent, the more ants it attracts. It's basically the insect version of a viral post. One ant shares it, then a few more join in. And before you know it, the entire colony is in on it. Now, here's where it gets even crazier. When multiple ants take different paths to the food source, they don't just randomly choose one and hope for the best. Instead, the colony automatically figures out the shortest and most efficient route. This happens because the shorter the path, the more frequently ants travel back and forth, which strengthens the pheromone trail even more. So, over time, the strongest and most direct trail wins. It's like a natural GPS system, except it doesn't reroute you to a lake when you take a wrong turn. Meanwhile, we humans still struggle to find the fastest way through traffic, even with apps and navigation tools. Ants, on the other hand, have been mastering the science of efficiency for millions of years. 
they would probably be better at urban planning than most city governments. But pheromones aren't the only thing ants rely on. They also use something called path integration. This means that as an ant moves, it keeps track of every step it takes and its direction. It's kind of like a built-in pedometer that also functions as a mental map. So even if an ant loses its pheromone trail, it can still retrace its steps back to the colony with shocking accuracy. Imagine always being able to find your way home, no matter how lost you get. That would have saved so many of us from embarrassing moments in unfamiliar neighborhoods. Now, let's talk about what happens when ants find food that's too big to carry alone. If an ant discovers a prize that's too heavy, like a piece of bread, it won't just give up. Instead, it calls for backup. More ants arrive and, without needing to discuss logistics or argue about lifting techniques, they work together to carry it back. Think about how humans move furniture. There's always at least one person shouting, pivot, while the others argue about who's carrying more weight. Ants, on the other hand, move in complete synchronization. No drama, no complaining, just results. If team building seminars studied ants, the workplace would be a much more efficient place. Now, you might be wondering, what happens if you disrupt the process? If you've ever wiped away an ant trail, you've probably noticed that for a few moments, the ants seem totally lost, running around like confused shoppers in a store with no signs. That's because their pheromone trail has suddenly disappeared, but they don't panic for long. Instead, they quickly start searching for alternative routes, and once they re-establish a new trail, the whole system is back up and running. So, to sum it all up, ants can smell food through their feet and antennae. They use pheromones to leave invisible trails that guide other ants. They naturally find the shortest route to food without GPS. They work together better than most humans do. And they never ever forget a good snack spot. Honestly, if ants were human-sized, they would have taken over the world by now. Luckily, they're just tiny, determined food bandits who will never stop showing up to your accidental buffet. If you enjoy this video, or if you're now ready to disrupt the ants in your kitchen, please like and subscribe. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.